Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today I have a really cool watch from Tax out of Japan. The Tax is an acronym that means taste, attractiveness, creativity, and style. And this is model number TS2303. I reviewed a Tax watch years and years ago. I'll go ahead and put it up there on the left-hand side of the screen. I can't remember the model, but I thought they were really cool back then. They've obviously flourished and have you know, created tons of other different watches. They like to do stuff um, like throwback stuff, uh, 80s stuff, um, you know, iconic, you know, marquees and, and intellectual properties from the 80s and 90s, you know, old school kind of tech type of stuff. Anyway, they do all of that and they put it in really cool uh, bespoke packaging for a lot of the watches. So you'll see like their next watch, I think, is based on a scooter. I mean, they just do, and they like cameras, and they're obviously, you know, cassette players, old audio equipment. They do all that type of stuff, and they just look at, they make it look really, really cool. And that's what this is. This is a watch based on a cassette player, um, and I think they just do a fantastic job. You know, the devil is in the details, and man, wait till you see uh, the detail on this watch. Let's check it out. guys you can check out my amazon shopping channel if you want to buy any of my other watches on my channel obviously this is not going to be on my amazon shopping channel i'll make sure to put a link down there in the description as y'all know i get a very small commission yada 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 so this is the packaging let me go ahead and show you here take it out now this is what i thought was really cool they actually have a working cassette tape in here which i, I i'm sure there's music on it I'm gonna show you a little something else here in just a minute, uh, but I just think that's that's really cool. You open it up, right there. There's a cassette tape. I mean, it's a working cassette tape. See, it says back to the 80s. Stay classy, stay unique. Uh, I can't see what the I can't see what the um, the audio is on there, but there is audio on this. I just think that's so cool, man. Yeah, they have a side A and they have a side B. And it's a real working cassette tape. Pretty cool, man. Of course, in here you got a little tiny um, envelope with like the warranty card and some other stuff in here. You can go online and register, register your watch. And if you need a, a manual, you just go online. And then here is the watch itself. They put a lot of effort into this packaging, guys. I mean, they, they, they look at every detail. So there you go. In fact, let me uh, let me wind it up a little bit so we can get it running. There we go. And like I said, I'll go ahead and give you all the seven specs you need to know, and then we'll talk a lot more about this watch. So there you go. Gonna have to probably get y'all some macro shots for some of the details. Wow, it's just—I mean, it's really cool. There's so much detail in here. It's going. It's gonna take me a few minutes to show you all, all the details of the watch. But anyway, let me get this out of the way. Let me get you all the specs. And we'll talk more about this watch. Guys, they, they do some really, really cool things uh, with their watches so far as the themes go and the details. Anyway, it's a 45 millimeter stainless steel case. It's 13.25 millimeters thick. Uh, it's 51.3 millimeters lug to lug. Of course, you get a 22 millimeter uh, leather strap. Water resistance is 100 meters, which is 330 feet. You do get a nice Seiko NH70 uh, movement inside with a 41 hour power reserve. And you get a mineral crystal front and back. I wish they had used you know, some sapphire, but you get a mineral crystal front and back. Um, so anyway, let me go ahead and tell you kind of this thing's claim to fame. Again, it's, it's based on a cassette player. And guys, the details are just amazing. So the crown is supposed to be like a volume knob right there. These are supposed to represent old line in and line out plugs for like headphones and connecting other audio equipment. There's that. And then go on the other side. And it's got like an A for like side A of the cassette right there. Pretty cool. It's got some writing that I cannot read right there. And then you look at the dial itself, and you got uh, you got play, stop, 
and pause buttons on the right hand side. You've got like a little radio indicator down there at the bottom. And it's very three dimensional, like those play, stop and pause buttons are big, they're applied. So is a little slider for the uh, fictitious radio. Um, I mean, it says AC automatic is set. I mean, you can see obviously the rotor spinning inside of there. Like that, that's one of the uh, cassette wheels. I mean, I just, it's just really, really cool, man. You got a lot of writing on here. Like that says automatic cassette. I got here. I'm trying to read this, uh, this information on the side. Guys, I'm old now. Let me get my glasses out. Let's see if I can read that. What does that say? And that says automatic cassette. Trying to see if there's any other Easter eggs in the case here. So you got the tax logo right there. I just saw that. Pretty cool. What else? And again, uh, the volume knob for the uh, crown. There you go. Let's look further into the dial. Unique is simple. Right there. Over there at 9 o'clock. That's their logo. Um, I says water is this 10 atmospheres right above the little red dot right there. And I'll try to magnify all these for you too. Um, and those buttons actually say play, stop, and replay on the right hand side near the three o'clock index. And then, um, of course, back to the 80s and then uh, AC up at the top. Let's flip it over. It's really kind of like blacked out, and I think there's still a sticker on here, I believe. But it kind of repeats what's on the front, to tell you the truth. You can see the rotor in there, and it's got the play, stop, and replay buttons, AC. Uh, and obviously it's a screw uh, in uh, case back, so it's got four screws. It's not a screw down case back. You see right there, it says stainless steel. I mean, the precision to be able to etch that on the, on like a, a curve like that is pretty incredible. Oh, that says design registered. Of course, you got the quick release on the straps. Straps, you know, you got tacks right there. Stainless steel on the buckle. Here is the um, hang tag right there. Guys, these are 590 bucks. Well, this particular one's like $590. So they're not cheap. But they're just really, really cool watches, man. Now, I know this is not going to fit on my wrist. I just know for a fact already, so I'm not even going to try it on. But I am going to give you a loom shot um, here in just a second. So tell me what y'all think of this. Again, even if you don't like this watch, they have some other ones over on their uh, website. Make sure you check out their website. Uh, they've just got some really, really cool, really, really, really cool watches. Uh, so let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's kill these monitors. Let me go ahead and zap this loom. Loom is nothing really to write home about. I mean, it's not a dive watch, so I wouldn't really expect the Loom to be much of anything, but it's applied in a neat way. So let's take a look at this. It's actually a little bit better than I thought. There you go. There's the Loom. Pretty cool, man. Sometimes they Loom crowns. Nope, that one's not Loomed. Is it? God, it almost looks like it is. Two little dots. All right, maybe not. Maybe I'm, I'm tripping here. Anyway, so there you go. Let me zap it again. But a very precise application of that loom, which I think is incredible. Uh, the hands do glow pretty brightly, but it's not, again, it's not going to win any loom awards. It's not meant to. I mean, it's, it's not a dive watch, guys. I would probably slap this on a, some sort of NATO or something. You can see that back much better now, by the way. There you go. Again, it's kind of mirroring the front of the watch. And it's good. I think it's uh, only like 105 grams, so it's got a nice weight to it as well. But uh, anyway, guys, there you go. Let me go ahead and turn everything back on. And I really want to know your thoughts on this thing. Um, they have, I think the one that I reviewed before was meant to be like it was designed after like a camera, if I remember correctly. Uh, and they've got uh, just tons of really neat, 
like pop icon technologies from the 70s and 80s and they just do a really, really good job. They're super creative, which I like. Uh, and the actual build quality of the watch is fan freaking tastic. Really, I mean, this feels like a watch that was built by a much bigger watch company because the attention to detail, the packaging, everything is really cool. And speaking of, this is a cassette tape. There you go. This is the original Miami Vice soundtrack. So this cassette tape itself is about 40 years old and it's meant to go in the world's smallest cassette player 40 years ago. This is the WMF10. I did a whole review on this, probably, I don't know, like, like my third or fourth review that I've ever done. Uh, and I'll put that up on the left-hand side of the screen. So if you want to check that out, go on over there and check out that review. Anyway, this was meant, again, to be the smallest cassette player. So you would slide it like that, open it up, and then pop the cassette inside. And then put it back down. Boom. And then, of course, you hit play, pause, whatever. But, uh. That's what I was rocking about 40 years ago, man, when I was, what, 13 or 14? You can see all the little, uh, like, the Dolby noise reduction and the, the type of tape, like, the, if it's a metal tape or not. Uh, the radio, it had a radio, obviously. The whole radio was in the cover. You got a little battery indicator right there. I keep the batteries out of it, so I don't want to corrode it, because I don't, I mean, I might operate it maybe once a year. So just make sure you take out your batteries. If you don't use something like that, take your batteries out so you don't corrode it. There's the FM dial. As you can see, it still works. I mean, the whole thing still works. I replaced a, a, um, a like a little rubber belt. You have to replace this every couple years. Uh, but it's fully functional, and I think it's in fantastic condition. But this is what I was rocking again like 40 years ago, man. So anyway, pretty cool. All right, so you open this thing up, take the cassette tape out, and then you snap it shut like that. Put the tape back in. Good old Miami Vice, Don Johnson. There you go. Sonny Crockett, Rico Tubbs. Ah, such a cool time, man. Such a fantastic time in this country. There you go. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, head on over to Tax's website if you want to get one of these. Again, they're $590. I don't have a coupon code for you, unfortunately. Um, you know, they're a little expensive, but you do get a really, really nice watch. So with that being said, guys, as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell if you like my content. And I really hope you do. And uh, that's it. And I will see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.